guys. Um, got sick and tired of dealing with the uh, pesky little Dodge ECU and some other ignition problems, so I decided to do the uh, GM HEI module upgrade and uh, the new coil. So what I did is I used a TP45 for the uh, GM HEI module, and it was like 40 some bucks from Napa, and then the IC27 coil was um, roughly the same, so it was like 70 bucks to do the whole thing. And I know there's a lot of wiring diagrams online, but I figured a video is always better. You can see my crappy job that I did here. So make sure you hook up a good ground. I just ran it over here. I didn't clean anything off. It works fine. Um, this side goes to your coil pickup in your distributor. So the green wire here, if you look over here, it comes to the, uh, let's see, it comes to the orange one. So if you've got both of them like I do, just disconnect the other one and just leave it sit here. Or don't disconnect it like I did. But your uh, your orange wire needs to get the one labeled W, and then the G gets the uh, gets the other one. And then you just need to run a um, this is your ground wire that goes directly to the coil over there. And then your power. What I did is I came over here to this mess, and this is the ballast resistor. And what I did was I just uh, Actually, zip tied stuff for once. What I did was I just soldered those guys together. This goes to the um, to the original coil and um, goes to the ignition switch. And then this one is uh, 12 volt power, key on power. So I just tied them both together here, soldered it, plugged it in, and away it goes. Fires up no problem, runs good, no issues as of yet. Fire this thing up. Fires right up, runs good. And that's about it.